Hey subbies! Before we get started on today's video, I would love it if you would follow me on my social media. I will have it linked here on the screen, my Instagram and my Twitter. My Instagram is Comedy Creation and my Twitter is Comedy Addict. And I would really love it if you guys would hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications. You'll be notified every time I upload. Let's get into the video. Hey subbies, we're going to be doing a video game collection today, but before we hit play on this, I would love it if you would click the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos that I have to share with you. Let's get into this video. The first video game I have to share with you is Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. I love the Call of Duty games simply because the online multiplayer is absolutely amazing there. You can pretty often there find some wonderful people to have online matches with. It makes the gameplay a lot more fun and you get a two for one, a wonderful story mode, but then you can also have a wonderful friendly competition there with online multiplayer. The next one is a combo pack. This is Call of Duty Black Ops and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Next one is one of my personal favorites. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. This is a really cool game. I really enjoy playing it a lot. The graphics are stunning. The gameplay is very easy to pick up and understand and it really has some wonderful storyline to really get you immersed in the game and you can't wait to get to the next part of the game because of how detailed the characters look, how magnificent the music is, and how sensational the storyline is. All I can tell you is you should definitely try this game and pick it up now because it is incredible. This here is a very interesting game. It's called Heavy Rain. This is an amazing game there with what is known as a butterfly effect, which means that one decision you make can impact the storyline and cause a complete derelation of the course that your gameplay was going to have all because of that one change. You have a whole new storyline, a whole new set of events that got put into motion because of that one event there that you had chosen this choice over the other possible outcomes there, so then the outcome was drastically altered but made for an even more exciting gameplay. This is a wonderful game. I really enjoy playing it. It's a lot of fun because I like to be able to get the best value I can there when it comes to games there to make for an even more enjoyable experience because games can be expensive. Another fun game is God of War. This here is God of War 3. It's an amazing, wonderful game there. I love the graphics in the PlayStation 3 games. They have definitely come a long way from PlayStation 2. I really love how detailed they went with the character design there, so the characters look very lifelike. It looks like you're watching a movie. The quality is so good. Instead of it looking just like video game quality there where you can tell that that's totally a video game. Another ever popular game is Destiny. This here is the Destiny game with the Taken King. And this here is the Legendary Edition. It comes with Destiny, Expansion 1, Expansion 2, and the Taken King. This is a wonderful game. I really love the multiplayer on this game. I, I love games there that have online multiplayer because it's a lot more fun to be able to play with other people instead of having to worry about finding a person locally to be able to play with there. That There's always someone there that you can enjoy a friendly competition with because of the joys of Wi-Fi and online multiplayer. Yay for Wi-Fi and online multiplayer! Here are some more PlayStation 3 games. We have Tomb Raider. This is also a very fun game there that you get to learn how to be resourceful and how to strategize your tactics there when it comes to the situations that you're facing in the game there. You're this treasure hunter and you're having to navigate all these different environments trying to 
solve this huge mystery there that's been in the family for generations. It's a really fun game that you can definitely spend hours playing and that's what makes a video game very enjoyable is when you can spend hours playing it and it doesn't seem like any time has passed at all. Or you look at the time and you're like, holy cow, how did I do that? That would be how. We also have the ever popular Injustice Gods Among Us. This is an extremely wonderful game to play there. I love the different superheroes that the storyline revolves around there where you can play against other superheroes which makes for a very interesting gameplay, something very different, very creative there. So then if you wanted to see how two superheroes would face off against one another, there's your answer. I also have got the Dragon Age Inquisition. I've started playing this game and it is very enjoyable. It's really neat there how it has the concept of you switching from different characters by having to hit a button to cycle through all the different characters that you're controlling. That's a part of your team there to be able to level up your characters through defeating all the different characters within the environment as well as discovering items there that will help you level up your characters which makes for a really awesome fight sequence there when you get to the boss levels. We also have an ever popular favorite game, The Sims 3 Pets. This is really fun on console as well as on the computer, PC or Mac. I really love how they added a lot of detail into it for a console game there that you can tell they weren't sacrificing quality there when a lot of games there that is evident to see that happen there when you're playing the video games there that are then console versions of their PC or Mac counterpart that you can tell that a lot of things were missing in most of those games and not the case with Sim 3 Pets. Absolutely wonderful game. I really hope that you'll check that out. If you don't have a PC or Mac but you have a PlayStation 3, check the Sims 3 Pets out. You will love it. We also have Beyond Two Souls, which, like Heavy Rain, which it's also made by the same company, is the same type of game there that you have a butterfly effect plotline going on in the game there where if you change one decision there that you make there, you can have several different outcomes there to create several different gameplay feels for you when you play through the game there that makes it for an even more wonderful experience to be able to make it a brand new game every time you play. And we've got three Nintendo Wii games. We've got Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword which is a really fun Zelda game. I've always been a fan of the Zelda series because they've always been a lot of fun for me to be able to enjoy the game and not have to feel pressured to play a game there that it's a relaxing fun game there that everyone can enjoy and pick up and feel immersed there because it uses the Nintendo Wii Remote as well as the Nunchuck there to make for easier gameplay control and for a much more easy to learn as well as immersive experience there that you don't feel confused there when you're learning the buttons there for the different gestures there that control links sword abilities as well as his different defense moves there when he gets a shield and just how to interact with your environment to make gameplay that much more smooth and that much more enjoyable. We have two more games that I can't wait to share with you that are for the Nintendo Wii as well. This is the Animal Crossing City Folk. This is an amazing game that I've really enjoyed for years there because you can get a ton of gameplay out of it because it also works in real time which that means if it is five o'clock on July 4th for you in the game it is five o'clock July 4th for them as well and the neat thing with this game is you can customize it to your heart's content there you move into town there and you can create the name of your town you can create the outfit that your character wears and you do some jobs for Tom Nook he is the local store owner there that's in town and once you complete tasks for him you can then start doing tasks around town there to make their town currency which is known as bells which is what you use to buy anything in the game there with this virtual currency you get it through even shaking trees there in the town there that give you fruit you can plant that fruit to then be able to give you 
more fruit that you can send to characters in game through letters, which is a very archaic technology, I know, but it it works. It's very simple to be able to send letters to characters where they can also then send you gifts back, which you can then send, sell these items to Tom Nook, and you can also dig around on the different types of dirt there that you encounter there in Animal Crossing City Folk, and you can uncover fossils, which you can sell to the museum or have the museum owner Blathers identify them for you so then you can also then sell them to Tom Nook as well so you can make money to be able to expand your house and be able to attend the different townspeople's yard sales that they have to be able to buy items from them which is a lot of fun and you can even go into the city hence the name City Folk and be able to enjoy the wonderful and amazing experience of city life by being able to explore all kinds of different shopping boutiques, different clothing, furniture, and even some jewelry stores there which you can customize your character to the limits of your imagination. It is an amazing game, will provide you hours of fun and it'll honestly last you an amazing amount of time there where you don't even have to worry about did I beat the game because there's no end to this game which makes it even better. The final game I have to share with you is Smarty Pants. I really like this game because I've always been such a fan of trivia games. I like games like Family Feud because that's a lot fun there to be able to think what would these answers be and it's fun to be able to have random knowledge and be able to put it to use which you can do in this game Smarty Pants that's for the Nintendo Wii. You answer trivia questions and it is a lot of fun there that it can ask you different trivia questions from all kinds of categories, science, English, math, history, social studies. It is a lot of fun and you will never be bored with all of the questions that you have to answer. I highly recommend all of these games and I hope you give them a try. Comment down below what your favorite game system is and your favorite video game for it. I love to know new video games and be able to try them out for myself. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of these awesome videos. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, sensational smiles go for miles. Be sure to subscribe and stay a while. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, subbies.